So this is something we get asked about all the time. The subject we're going to be covering in today's quick tip is the inverse square law. There are many overly complicated explanations of this mathematical principle online, but not many of them are terribly helpful to a cinematographer. So I'm going to try and demystify the inverse square law and boil it down to a very simple tip that can help you when you're lighting your scenes. The easiest way to use the inverse square law in your lighting is this. If you want to increase the contrast between two objects in your scene, you can use the inverse square law just by bringing your light closer to one of them. Sounds very simple, doesn't it? Well, it is. And you really don't need to know the maths behind it, unless of course you're gonna start engineering your own kit. How about a really simple example? Here you can see I'm sat in front of a plain backdrop, but I'm not at all happy with the contrast. There just isn't enough separation between the foreground and the background. Frequently when I'm on set, I'm not in a position to start moving the actors or the sets around, so I'm going to have to do something with the lighting. So, watch this. Just like magic. This is much more like the image I want. It seems like we've dimmed the light on the background and increased the light on our subject, but it's not that complicated. We're only using one very simple light and it's not dimmable. So how do we do it? If you take a look at our behind the scenes, you can see what we're up to. As our single light source moves closer to me, we adjust the exposure on the camera to make sure I stay correctly exposed. Because of the inverse square law, as the light moves closer to me, I get brighter much faster than the background does. This increases the contrast between the foreground and the background. So as we keep the exposure on my face the same, the background appears to get darker. Super simple, nice and easy. Once again, this is before and after. You can use this principle to control the contrast between any elements in your scene. It doesn't have to be foreground and background. It could just as easily be two actors stood side by side. Move the light closer to one and increase the contrast between them. So really, when I'm on the set, the mass doesn't really come into it. Once you've grasped this understanding of how light, distance, and contrast are interrelated, you can quickly solve problems like this very easily. So there it is, the inverse square law demystified. For more in-depth tutorials, check out our full hour-long masterclass, and don't forget to watch our other free tutorials on our YouTube and Vimeo channels.